Hi guys, welcome back to your channel Technical Sahil. In today's video, uh, which is the eighth video in this playlist, we are going to implement Google's Invisible Recapture. You may remember that after installing WHMCS and when we were exploring the, its features, we saw that the default captcha was already enabled inside the security tab of general settings. If you want, you can continue using that default captcha. However, I would advise you to not use this type of manual captcha on your website as it can become an interest breaker sometimes in your customer's ordering process. Like you may have noticed in our last video which was about domain reselling, when I had entered the captcha correctly uh, while searching the domain name on my first attempt, it was invalid in my first time. Even I have done it very carefully but still I need to retry. If I was your customer or you was mine at that time, we generally would not prefer much spending much time or something that's readily available elsewhere in the market. Now you might wonder why do we need a dedicated video for such a small thing like CAPTCHA. In your subconscious mind, you may think like alright he said CAPTCHA is annoying so we'll just disable it but if you are thinking that way then maybe you could face several issues down the line. Like you know that CAPTCHAs are integrated into the websites mainly to prevent from bot accounts, which is absolutely correct. If you have purchased WHMCS from the same place like I did, you will have the facility to manage an unlimited number of clients. However, if you have purchased a WHMCS from somewhere else, where there are limitations on the number of clients you can manage like we saw at the beginning of this course with the limits of 250, 500, 1000 etc. Means different pricing plans from different providers comes with different client management limitations. So if you are using a limited license type and as you know boards can register 10, 10 times in a day, in a single day, your client list will quickly fill up with, with those boards and will take the place of active clients for some time. This will increase your manual workload as you will have to manually deactivate or delete them. Otherwise your active client quota could become full till that time period and your genuine clients may be not be able to register on your site for some time. In this regard, this video is important. So keeping in mind this thing and I prefer to cover this thing in a dedicated video. So first as we saw you need to first log into your WHMCS admin panel and you need to go general settings which is inside system settings and click this security tab and from here you first need to ensure that it's always on and now you need to click here now it's asking for recapture site key and recapture secret key now you need to search on google uh, google recapture and visit this first link i will provide the same link in the description of this video after that you need to uh, click this v3 admin console. Now I have many sites added but you may see this area blank but whatever however we both can see this uh, plus icon at any cost so we need to click this plus icon. You can click this switch to create a classic key this is their new update so we don't want that. Now we need to men mention our domain name which is hostrigger.xyz Now we need to select this recaptcha v3 and again we need to mention our domain name here Now check this to accept the recaptcha terms of service and click submit Now copy the site key from here, paste it here and also copy the secret key from here and paste it here. Now click save changes. Now if we refresh this page. You can see that CAPTCHA is gone and our site is protected by 
Google reCAPTCHA which is invisible means which is not asking for any action to the user. So that way we can save our customers effort and side by side protect our website from uh, bots, bot accounts. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.